Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you and I praise you and I glorify you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for this day we have given us, Lord. We thank you and we praise you, as your word says. We need to praise you always. We give you thanks. We give you praise for all you have done in this day. Hello, the Global Children's Ministry. You have given us earlier today, and now we are gathered on our ministry, children ministry. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with this Zoom, this new Zoom that we can praise you for this Zoom. That you have blessed us with this new Zoom. It you can do how much time you want. I thank you, Lord, for this new Zoom. Thank you. We need to praise you, Lord, for all your blessing for blessing us with this present. And blessing us in the other areas of our life. As Lord, today we are going to learn Your Word, Holy Spirit. You make this teaching extremely simple and easy, absolutely simple and easy. And You reveal Your Word with signs and wonders, and with practical examples. I thank You, Lord, as Your Word says in John, uh, Isaiah eleven two. It says. The spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon me. The spirit of wisdom is upon me. The spirit of understanding is upon me. The spirit of counsel is upon me. The spirit of might is upon me. The spirit of knowledge is upon me. The spirit of fear of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of holiness is upon me. The spirit of excellence is upon me. In Jesus' name, Amen. I pray, Lord, that you have. Given us wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, and all these things come through the Holy Spirit. We fear you, Lord, because you have blessed us, and we need to praise you. We love you, O Lord. We surrender. We give ourselves to you. You do your will in our lives. You do what you want in our lives, and help us, O Holy Spirit, not to operate in pride, not to be self-centered. But to operate in humility, to be humble, to raise people up, raise others up. I thank you, Lord, and I praise you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hi, Ashwin. Praise the Lord. Hi, Shaili. I can see your brother. Praise the Lord. Okay, so we can. I understand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I got a, a testimony right now. I got it in the message. Yes. Shall I share it? Yes, you can share. Go on. Yeah. Like you know, uh, my yesterday my sister called me from Goa, yes. and 
ها نیست کیز شی بائی دس ویس پاس کچھ and like it was like uh, she start working and like in a first payment she buy it and okay. i think it's on 20 uh, like when last uh, i think it's two weeks i'm not sure but she told me i forgot uh, so somebody stole her bike the new one yeah. and then she told me and yesterday only i gave her the prayer saying the spirit i prayed on her and i told her to confess the prayer spirit of lord jesus and blood of jesus is upon the bike mm-hmm. and the person who is still it and god's favor is on her so just now i got received the message so so she got found the scooter with the police and the picture praise jesus praise god it was so quick praise jesus so i nice was, testimony yeah it was just yeah. like just before it was just they sent me the message so i just yeah. want to share it god bless yes. yes. <laughs> all right okay. uh, listen you i yes. just want to add something which is what i'm preaching today so, so as now you just said uh, you gave her the prayers so when you were praying what is like a prayer it's like a conversation with god yes do you agree hari yes yeah it's like something con- con- like a conversation with god so when you are praying most of the time we praise god yes now when before when i was just doing the starting prayer i was praising god because he has blessed us with this new zoom id and so many things he has done in our life so now when your um, your sister yes was it your sister yes yes okay your sister i should say your sister alistan are you speaking to me yes oh sorry sorry i was mute sorry yeah okay, it's my sister's ne- ne- uh, knees the bike was my sister's uh, knees like you know the husband side yes okay so your sister's knee so when you prayed on her what were you yeah, doing yeah and i gave her scripture con- too yes uh, having a conversation with god with god yes or prayer so when you were now just um, doing that you gave her scripture hello alistan hi i, I should don't serve in the middle please sorry yes so where was i okay i was just saying so when you gave her that scripture why did you think you gave her that scripture for her for her to praise god so i was preaching today i'm going to preach on praise god so now example you gave her the scripture the spirit of the lord jesus is upon the bike and the person who stole the bike in god's favor is upon me yes so what yes. are you trying to do out of that you're praising god having that faith that it is already done for you that yes. your bike is safe with the spirit of the lord jesus of course yes. yeah praise so jesus that is what praise is so that that is how much praise our praise have that power so now you just told you just said to her that scripture means every scripture given to us is to praise god yes i'll be teaching on that today so we need to like now when you gave her that scripture why did you give it for her not to consider her situation that is that she lost that bike she stole that scooter was stolen but she can concentrate on that spirit which is on that bike and she has found that bike that bike is completely new completely no scratches nothing on it it is how it, she was she brought it it is nice and she it's very smooth to drive that is what you're trying to make her concentrate on and praise god for that what she's trying to concentrate on so if she is trying to concentrate yes. on the bike being good the bike is very health is uh, completely new means you are telling her to praise god for what so like it's your faith so she's praising god with that faith she's not considering a situation which is telling her that the bike is stolen the scooter is stolen uh, but she's considering that the word of god says that the spirit of the lord is upon so she's using that scripture for a she is using the scripture to praise god so that is what i am preaching today so now so many things god has done from the from the day when the day started first yeah. thing uh, you actually actually every minute we have to praise god because every second i should say every nanosecond he has done something in our life now example uh, now when you were sleeping on your bed who gave you that bed god himself god. and then yes. who gave you a re- relaxed full night a peaceful night god himself 
So, and who gave you such a nice morning, such a nice bright day, a sunny day? Um, here in the in the UK, the sun shining outside means God has blessed us with this day. So, these are the small small reasons in our day to day day to day life. We need to praise God. Now, God has given us everything in abundance. Now, Jesus said. He has given the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I've come to give you life, life in abundance. So this life in abundance, God has given only for one purpose. What is the purpose? To glorify his name, to praise his name. So when we praise God from all our hearts, now example, I'll give an example. Now um, you uh, you share you shared a testimony, yes. Yeah. So you said about your sister's niece, yes? yes? So now if she was praising God to get something from God, that is the time she's doing in a selfish nature. Means like if she's saying she's praising God that she wants a bike, scooter back, then it will not be a good intention. Yes, it will be a selfish yes. intention. But now she decided to praise God from her heart because she loved God and she knows that God has protected her scooter. So she wants yes. to praise God for that. So she's doing it from your heart. Not for her to receive a scooter back, but she knows that her scooter has been protected by God himself. So that's why she's praising God, because from her heart, because God has done something in her life. In the yes. same way, when God does something in our life, we have to the same way praise God. Yes? Yes. And one more thing, Alistair, like, you know, uh, Shaili's dad, uh, he loves us uh, riding a, the scooter and a bicycle and all. So last time, somebody stole his bicycle. So I said, look, you have to bless that person and uh, don't say anything, just bless that person. But before the year, like, you know, this year, he got two scooters, two bicycles, and it was a gift. So we were just praising and thanking God. So that's what I told her as well as today light. So, you know, this girl, and I told her, look, if this happened, you just have to open your heart and just bless that person who stole that. Yes? Yes. yes. And just say, yes, praise Jesus. So, you know, it's how that miracles just God gives you in your life. So you must, it's like, it depend on your heart. So how you, whether you're cursing that person or you're blessing that person. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. So, yeah, it's God. Yes. And now, when you praise, now, like your, now your Shari dad just um, lost his like, bike, bike, you were just saying now. So, yes. when you praise God, everything will come in abundance. Because Jesus yes. Comes, this life in abundance. And this yes. life will praise Him. So, when we only concentrate on Jesus, everything will be added unto us. Scripture yes. says, Matthew 6 33. What does the scripture say? Seek first. Kingdom, of, Kingdom of God and everything will be added to your account. Yes. Yes. So when I'm praising God, when I'm seeking Him, everything will be added unto you in abundance. You don't have to worry. Now as I'll give an example as well. Now you know Joseph from the Old Testament. Joseph. Yes. 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 He had such a bad life. He was um, thrown out by his brothers. He was put in the prison. He was naked. But was his concentration on that or was his concentration on God? What God did for him? Or like on the God. On the dream. God. Yes, yes, on God. Now, was he praising God? Was he concentrating on God because he wanted that something from God? No, he was just praising God. Yeah. Yes, why was he praising God? From his heart. Because he loved God. So in the same way, when we praise God, when if we when we love God from our hearts, everything will be given abundantly. Joseph became such a in the Egypt in the Egypt when he was there, he became his family got restored back. His brothers said sorry to him. His brothers restored that connection with him. He he had that higher promotion. Yes. Now in Genesis um thirty so Genesis um thirty nine I think so one to six. Two to six, yes. It says uh, God was with Joseph. Joseph was a prosperous man. So prosperous doesn't mean that you have lots of money. You you are very good in the lessons, your homework. You're good in everything what you see. You're, that is not prosperity. Prosperity is when you have a relationship with God and God is with you. When your concentration is God, like Joseph, he was a prosperous man. Now, the Pharaoh, he had everything. He lived in a palace. But was he a prosperous man? No. Because 
that prosperous is not what you have what you possess prosperous is when your concentration is on god when you're praising god that is what is called prosperity yes, and god. that is what happened to your uh, shailis dad because he was concentrating on jesus not on his situation not because he was not concentrating on jesus to get something so he didn't do two things one is he praise god to get something and one is he was concentrating on god to get something he was concentrating on god because he loved god he concentrated on god because he he knew who god was what god had done in his life just like joseph now joseph didn't do praise god because he wants to be out of prison he doesn't want any bad things to happen to him no he praised god because he loved god because god had done so many miracles in our life and the and uh, joseph was having everything in abundance yes in the same yes. way when we praise god when we seek the kingdom of god everything will be added unto you what we need everything yes. in abundance jesus yes. said, jesus said i have come to give you life life in abundance in john 10:10 yes. so this life god wants us to enjoy this life but he only wants us to do one thing and that is to praise him for our concentration to be on him that is what the scripture says so so many things we can praise god in uh, today so we can praise god for a breakfast we had to this morning for such a peaceful night so when i was sleeping nothing disturbed me such a peaceful night and when i was sleeping when i was going to sleep last night i i went a bit early to sleep because i had to get up early so i went to sleep you know what i did how i slept last night mm -hmm. i took my rosary and i recited scriptures and i just slept so my concentration was on god so i was concentrating on god because i love god so yes. so many things we can praise god like breakfast god has blessed us with such a breakfast have you ever expected that your mother or father will not give you a breakfast your mom and dad will not give you a breakfast have you ever thought about that no 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 because they have given you breakfast every day so we have to praise god for that we we need to praise god for a new day he has given us such a fresh day such a big day that too we need to praise god for everything we see now if i see the zoom i have to praise god for that if i see anything if i see anything in in my everyday life i have to praise god now some people think i have to praise god because this is a big situation i have to praise god when i got a new um, car or something i have to praise god when i get a new house that is not the way you can even praise god in your everyday life day to day life they think like only big things have to praise god small things we uh, small things are just small things But small things you can praise god more in your day to day life when you see your day to day life there's so many things happening there's such a big process and that's why we need to praise god so what you ever you see we need to praise god for that because that all comes from god that all belongs to god that all belongs to god now example if a uh, a mom our uh, father okay example our dad now will he give us everything we ask for which now example if i want for this and this is good for me will he give me yes yes he will give me in the same way my father in heaven is also giving me so he has given us nice parents relatives friends brothers and sisters brothers and sisters are the best thing the best gift you know before i used to wait i used to wait so long to get a brother and sister and finally god has blessed me with that brother and sister i used to wait when will i get a sibling before but now god has blessed us before i used to be lonely i, um, I used to have no one to play but now i have so i have to praise god for that because every day to day life my <coughs> when i do things god has done so many things and we need to praise god for our school who gave us this big building to live, to they stay and to learn uh, this new teachers everything so and we need to praise god for now i'll give an example example now your mom told you to do something your mom told you to do something okay example go to do your homework and you feel very bored to do the homework you want to play yes now 
will the now are you when you want to play if you say i have the mind of christ the spirit of the lord is upon me my god himself is anointed me has filled me with his love and set me free and you go to do that homework now what are you doing you are obeying your mother mom as well as the holy spirit because what is the word of god says in exodus it says in exodus to honor your mother and father to obey your mother and father yes, yes. so when i when my mom tells me to do something or my dad tells me to do something and i don't want to do it the holy spirit will ask me a question are you obeying your mother and father so he will go according to the word of god and your mother will tell you to do something and when you go to do it that is the time so that is the time you are rejoicing you are happy now example i was just telling you this example so now if you say the spirit of the lord is upon me my god himself is anointed me i have the mind of christ and the wisdom of god is from within me i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and you go to do that homework now this joy this this uh, joyful if when you want to be joyful how can you have this joy what is the definition of joy it is what what is the definition of joy knowing the end result yes shaili am i correct is joy knowing the end result yes yes so how can i know that end result how can i know shaili do you know doctor do you know how i can know the end result um i don't know I'm not quite sure though okay it's okay shaili shaili how can we know the end result how can we have the joy good i'm not sure sure okay it's okay christian do you know how can we have this joy do you know is it by believing okay or close but not yet uh, and result yes yes that is joy but how can i have that knowing the end result how can i know that end result okay i'll give the answer can you the you can only know the end result through the word of god now if i i give you an example and if i say the spirit of the lord is upon me my god himself has anointed me i have the mind of christ and i can do all things through christ who strengthens me now am i speaking the word of god shaili am i speaking the word of god roxan yes yes so does that build my joy in me mm, kind of it's not kind of it is okay it does build joy so when i know the word of god what the word of god says that i have, i have the mind of christ i can do all things through christ who strengthens me when i know that i have that joy in me that i know the end result that i will be able to do that thing what my mom wants i will be able to uh, fulfill what she wants me to do that is that joy what you have i know now can we so when we are like sad what do we have to do should we be sad do we have to be sad should we be sad yes should we be sad no 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 what do you have to do be happy okay shaili i will explain more you are um, now happy is the wrong answer because you happiness be and joy are different what do you think happiness is happiness uh, is like when you are um uh, like when you are when you get something for example and then you get happy is it like that because i'm not too sure Okay, Shaili, what is happiness? Shaili, I preached this to you the other day. Remember on the phone? What was it? I'm gonna say what Roxanne said. 
Yes, okay. I preach this to you, but I'll preach again for the other. So, uh, Shaili, do you remember that I told you happiness is based on the situation? Um, yes. Wow. So, if the situation, you can write it down if you want. You wrote it down before, I think. So, you already have it. You wrote it down. You can write it down. Roxanne, you also can write. Kristen, you can also write. Okay. Huh? Happiness is. Happiness is. Yeah. Yeah. When I am. When I am. Pardon, what did you say? Happiness is. Mm -hmm. When the situation, happiness is when the situation situation. Happiness is when the situation is good. I will, um, happiness is when the situation is good, I will be, my emotions will be happy. My emotions will be happy. Wait, so it's happiness is when the situation is good, I will be happy, yes. Or you can, yes, I will be happy. And joy is, joy means, or oh joy is, you can write, joy is. Tell me when you finished, Roxanne. Then tell me when you finished. I'm finished. Yes, Roxanne, have you finished? Yeah. Joy is, joy is when the situation Is good or bad? I, when the situation is good or bad, I focus. On the end result. So I'll just explain a bit happiness and joy. So happiness is the situation is good. I will be happy. I will smile. I will sing uh, songs and all. My mood will be good. But when the situation is bad, I will be angry. I will be sad. I will not be dancing like I was. And joy is whether the situation is good or whether the situation is bad, whether the situation is the situation is according to what I want or the situation is not what according to the why I got what I want. My focus is always on the end result. I never ever focus on the current situation. Whether the situation is good or whether the situation is bad, I will always focus on the end result. The end result is what the word of God says. Praise God. So, and we need to have this joy not to receive something from God. We shouldn't praise God to receive something, but we love God. Okay, we can go to a scripture. Psalms 103. Psalms 103, you can go in your Bible. Psalms 103, it will come in the chat. Psalms 103, verse 1 and 2. Psalms 103, verse 1 and 2. Okay, it's on the chat to everyone. Can someone read? Roxanne, can you read? Okay. Bless, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and, and, for, and forget not all his benefits. Yes, okay, but there should be first verse. 
It's first and second. Okay, oh. next one. There's a second and third. There's no first. Yeah. Hmm. There's two. Yeah, there's three, two and three, but there should be one and two only. I'm asking for that. Okay, wait. I'll just tell somebody to put it on the chat. Hmm? Okay, it's on the chat. It's on the chat. Can you read? Yes. Psalms 103 was one. Shall I read? Yes, Roxanne, you read. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Now, what is the scripture saying? Now, this is David. This is what David is speaking. Okay? David is speaking to his soul, his senses. You know, five senses, our touch, our smell, our ears, and um, our taste, and our eyes. Okay, these are our five senses. So, he's telling the five senses, bless the Lord. So, praise the Lord. And all that is within me. So everything inside me. Bless his holy name. So only worship him. Okay. So David is talking to himself. That the situation is bad. But I have to praise my God. My God is what I have to focus on. Nothing else. Because our God is such an amazing God. David is saying to himself. I just have to concentrate on my God. Nothing else. Just my God, because my God is amazing. Because what he has done before, and what he has done already before, and what I am focusing on is on the end result. Okay. And can we read Psalms 103 verse 2? Roxanne. Okay, we'll give somebody else a chance. Christian, you can read. Kristen, you can unmute yourself and read verse 2, the first verse. Kristen, Sean? I'll read it. Who forgives all time in pity to help all the disease? Okay, that is the wrong verse. Can you read the first verse? First verse. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Okay. Bless the Lord, O my soul. So David is again talking to his soul, saying, Bless, praise God. Only my focus should be, my senses should be on God. And forget not all his benefits. So what he has done in my life already. He has blessed me with so many, so, so many things. He has loved me. That is what he's telling. David is telling not for me to forget those things. I should remember all that he has done already in my life. What he has claimed on the cross. What Jesus has claimed. What he has done. All the testimonies we get. These testimonies we shouldn't forget. That is what the scripture is saying. And we need to praise God for all those testimonies what we get. We have so many testimonies. But we need to praise God for them. Praise God. So, as we were just here about praising God. So, as we know Psalms. Okay. As the scripture says. As the scripture says, out of, uh, Psalms 8.2. Can you put that? Psalms Psalms 8 2. Okay. Can we read? Can Shiley, you can read this time. Okay, you can read. Shiley? Mm -hmm. Can you read? 
Okay, it's on the chat. NIV version, please. Read. Shelly, are you muted? Oh, yes. Shelly, you can unmute yourself. Shelly? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you were not answering. That's why I got confused. Okay, can you read Psalms 8 2? Okay, I will. NIV, it's on the chat. Out of the mouth, mouth of babes and suckling hearts, though ordained strength because of thine enemies that you... Okay, can you read the next verse, the noun, what it says? That is the different version, NIV. Can you read NIV? Because we can understand better. It is the, very hard. Through the praise of children and in faints, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. So through the praise. So as we all know, the now we all know that our words have power, yes? Yes? Yes. So our, power, our tongue has this power and this power we can use to praise him. When we praise him, we're speaking life. Now, as the other day I told you, I was ministering the word of God to someone. She's an adult. She's in the word of God. And I ministered to her the scripture and I ministered to her Psalm, um, Proverbs 18.21, which says life and death are in the power of the tongue. And she says our tongue is stupid. Now I told her the scripture, Psalms 8.2. And I explained to her that this scripture is telling us that our tongue is not stupid. We can use the same tongue what you are calling stupid to praise God. Yes? Yes. Now I got, uh, so I told her that you can use the same tongue to praise God. That is what scripture says. I showed her the scripture and I told her to read. I told her to read. She read it. And I asked her, what did you understand from the scripture? She said, I didn't understand. Uh, she said, through the praise of children and infants, you have like established a stronghold. So against your enemies, that is the devil. She just said that. And now I told her, we'll go deep. And I told her that our praise can be worthy. Our praise is worthy. Now, I told her we have to praise God because God is a worthy God. Yes? God has done so many things in our life. He is a God who is worthy for our praise. As now, example, I'll give an example where in the Bible it says God is worthy. Now, John was, um, uh, what he was uh, preaching the message, what he had. And that was that repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he was saying to the Pharisees and Sadducees that you are, I'm not indeed worthy to carry his sandals. Now, why did he say that? I'm not worthy indeed to carry his sandals. So John the Baptist, okay, I'm talking about John the Baptist in Matthew when he was baptizing. So he now... Where was I? I was just talking about him saying, he said that I'm not worthy even to carry his sandals. Now, why did he say that? Why do you think he said that? I why do you think he said that? Because he wasn't much holy. Okay. That is, okay. That can be, that is not the answer. But you tried. Roxanne, do you know? I think that because like he's not like um because like he's not like higher than him. I think that, but I don't. I'm not sure that much. Definitely, that is very clear that God is higher than John, but it's not. But it's not up to the mark. Christian, do you know? Christian, do you know? <laughs> Uh, no. Okay. Now, why is he saying that? Because he, the God has done so many things in our life. Yes? And we are... 
we are not worthy to stand before god because he has done so many so many things in our life he has all uh, done everything in our life but we have caused his sin we are we have disobeyed god adam disobeyed god that's why we are not worthy anymore he has caused so many things we rebelled against him even though he loved us imagine example your mother your parents love you so much and you don't love them you you hate them you get angry on them that is what we did to god god loved us so so much but we rebelled against god and that's why john the baptist is saying now here that we are not worthy for that because we we didn't praise god at that time the situation we didn't praise god we considered the situation bigger than god okay we can take one scripture and we can end okay we can take one scripture one john 4 17 1 John 4:17 yes 1 John 4:17 can you put kgb version please on the chat 1 John 4:17 kgb version please 1 John 4:17 1 John please okay you can search in your bibles if you want but it will come Can I read it? Yes, if you have it, you can read. You can read. Okay, it's on the chat. It's on the chat, and I read. I'll read it. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. Okay, can you put the KGB version because this is a um different, a little bit different on how I studied it. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna wait for the chat to come. Yes. Oh, if you have any. Okay. Okay, turn here. Turn. Herein is our love made perfect. That. we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world okay i will uh, share a testimony of one of mine the other day uh, we were just going for a walk and i took my bicycle you know i share the testimony of how much time i get to play before i should not even get half of that time so now you know the other day i was riding my bike and there was glass fallen on the floor okay on the ground okay where we on the walk path now i cannot go around that glass because it's too much it's very spread all the glass and if i put my tire in my tire will go flat it will have a puncture in it so my tire will get a hole like when a screw touches the tire it goes all the air goes out in the same way my but if that pointy glass touches my cycle my bike by my, my bike tire it will go the air will just leave so i had i had nothing but i had to do something so my mom was leading she was in front of me and i you know what i did in that situation i took my bike up i holded it and i jumped across that glass and i sat down and i was riding okay on my mom on the walking speed of my mom then my mom uh, asked me what 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 are you doing then i explained her the scripture because i was you know as i told you i was just listening you know when i have a snack in the evening sometimes i have biscuits so every day i have biscuits so i listened to the teachings so i had listened to this scripture that time from sister doslin she had preached and this scripture is 1 john 4:17 and it says because as he is so are we in this world so i told my mom as my god is so am i in this world so if my god is perfect i am perfect if my god is strong i am strong if my god has that ability to do all the things impossible i have that ability so i explained to her that if my god is strong 
I am strong because as he is, so am I in this world. So if my God is strong, I am strong. Means I can take my bike anywhere. I can lift anything up. I can do anything with that ability of God. Yes. So I explained to her this scripture. So now, because as he is, so are we in this world. So when we are born again, as Jesus is, as Jesus is, Jesus is smart. He's clever. He's intelligent. He's loving. In the same way, we are. So are we in this world? So we have to praise God for that. Because if God is smart, I am smart. God has made me perfect because He is perfect, and I have to praise God for that. That is like a gift what He has given me. It says because as He is, so as Jesus is, not He was, He is. Means He was means in the Old Testament when oh when Jesus was He was a very He was righteous to Jesus was righteous to God. God was connected to Jesus. Yes. Now, does this scripture says he was because as he was, so are we in this world? Yes. Can you repeat that? Now, one John four seventeen. You can go into our chat. Now, does it say as he was? Does the scripture says because as he was, or as he is? Is. Is. Roxon. What is it? What is it? Was or is? Check on your chat. Check on the chat. I didn't get it. You didn't get it? No. Go to your chat. On the chat. I know I am. It says herein is our love made perfect. You have that one? Oh wait, I got it now. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay, it says here, uh, herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he was or as he is. 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 Means is. he is He is still, till today, this nanosecond, he is my deliverer, he is my healer, he is my rewarder. In the same way, when I have God in me, he is a God of the impossible. He can even cure an incurable disease. In the same way, I am the same. I have that power and authority. If God has that power of authority in his words, I am created in his likeness and image of God. And this scripture says, because as he is, so are we in this world. So I also have that power of my words. Yes? Because as he is, so am I in this world. So if he has the power in his words, even I have that power in my word. Because as Jesus is, who am I in this world? If Jesus can curse the fig tree, I can curse the fig tree. If Jesus can pull the mountain from the root and cast it into the depth of the sea with his words, I have that same ability. Because how he is, so am I in this world. If my God is a God of the impossible, I can do all the impossible. That's what the scripture says, I can do all things through Christ. He is the one who strengthens me. So, as Jesus is, everything how Jesus is, so am I in this world. If my Jesus is with me, everything is possible with me. Nothing is impossible. Because my God is God of the impossible. He is God of the living and not of the dead. Praise God. So, we can end today's session. Do you have any testimonies or anything you want to share? Any testimonies, anything the Lord has done? Okay, I've got... Okay, are you understanding? Did you understand today's session? Yes. Anything you want me to repeat again? Any definition what I gave you? No? Okay? Actually, I have one testimony. Go and share it. You want to be very eager. It's not really done yet, but it's so far... Can you come close to your device? Because your voice is very low. Is my voice now better? No, it's still a bit low. Okay, it's okay. You can, I can hear you though. You can speak. So it's not, it's my testimony, but it's not yes. like a complete testimony. Okay, so, yes. Like, so my dad, he is very worldly life, okay? He does pray in the morning, yes, but that's the only prayer he does. Three the only prayer? He only prays in the morning. 
Is it the three o'clock prayer? No, like when he wakes up, he prays. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah. He's very worldly life, so. Um, my dad drinks like beer and like all that, like beer, the all the alcohol. Can I continue? Yes, continue. That's my mom. Please go. She's here. Oh, yes. Uh, so he drinks lots of, al like, not alcohol, beer and stuff. So my mom, um, my brother really worries. I worry as well. But no, now I don't really much because, because um, we also do, th my mom says this prayer. You know, when he drinks this, he actually drinks Jesus' blood instead of alcohol. Yes. And also, at night time, at night time, we do agreement prayer that he will stop like, being worldly life and that he will not drink any more like alcohol stuff. Now he's like, now I haven't, he's now like, he, when it was his birthday, he did, but he didn't drink that much. But now like, he does go walk very early. That's why he doesn't drink it. But also I've seen him like, even like nighttime, he, like normally he drinks at nighttime, okay? When when at night time, and then and then like for now on, now I don't even see him drink any alcohol. Praise God. Praise okay, God. I have a testimony. I shared it on the children's ministry in the morning. Remember, Shali? Oh yeah. It's about my Bible testimony, but I'll share here as well. Because Kristen and Sun and Roxanne don't know this testimony, so I'll show you. So, I wanted a KGV Bible. Okay, a KGV Bible. I wanted this KGV Bible because my mom had it, my dad had it, and you know, Sister Jocelyn's teaching, Papa Johnson's teaching, are mostly using KGV. Yes, KGV, King James Version. So, as I told you here, KGV. Um, version to read so uh, that KGV I wanted that version um, and now um, I didn't know anything so I a uh, scripture spoke to me and he said my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ therefore your Bible has already been supplied this spoke to me and I shall recite this scripture every day. My God shall supply. It is a very known scripture. I know it. Even if you tell me to tell when I'm sleeping, I can tell it to you. Because in my dream, I can tell it to you because it's a very good scripture, very fixed scripture in my mind. So, this scripture spoke to me. And it said, your God supplied your Bible already. Now, you know, I did an agreement prayer with the Holy Spirit. Okay? An agreement prayer. And you know what was I doing? I was jumping up and down with that joy when I was focusing on the end result. What was the end result telling me? That I have already have my Bible. It is already kept with me. So I was jumping up and down. I had that, that much faith. And suddenly the Bible came through the post. Okay, you know the post? When it comes. So it came through the post and I asked my mom how did it come to the post because you have to order it then only it can come but otherwise it cannot come so I asked her, how did it come to the post and my mom said one night we both had just my mom and my dad just that thought just came to them to buy me that KGB bible we ordered it for you and it came here and it came earlier than the due date the expected date for it to come it came earlier. So my Bible now, I'm starting to study. It is very good. So that is what the Lord had done. So without knowing, it just came. So I had a joy in that situation. I was focusing on the end result with my spiritual eyes. And that was, I already have that Bible. That Bible is already given in me. And you know what? Now faith is in action. You know that faith is in action. Shali, you know? Faith is in action. Yeah. So scripture says in uh, James chapter 
uh, something. It says that, you know, our body is just dead without the spirit. Yes? Yes. Our body is just dead without the spirit. In the same way, faith is just dead without the deeds, without the actions. So now, you know what I was doing in my actions? Shaili, do you know what I was doing? You know, every day when I used to read my own Christian community Bible, I used to pretend it is my new KGV Bible. I used to pretend. I used to look in my spiritual eyes. My faith was telling me. And that faith in that action brought it into completion in my life. So I did an agreement prayer with the Holy Spirit. I told you, only after two days it came. Praise God. Okay, any, any other testimonies? Anything you want to share? That happened to you? What the Lord had done in your life? No? No? Okay, we can do the ending prayer then. No. Uh, Roxanne, do you want to do the ending prayer? You can do it today. Please go. No, it's fine. You can do it. Sure? Okay. You can't Shiley. Your face. Shiley, you can do it this time. Please, mm -hmm. you can do it. Yes? No? Okay. Oh, sure, okay. Christian, sure? Mm -hmm. Christian, do you want? No, okay, then I'll do it. Okay, Heavenly Father, I thank you and I praise you and I glorify you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for this session you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for helping us understand today. This session was so simple, so easy, and you helped us understand. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us understand. And help us to keep this truth in our hearts. That it might never go away from us. I thank you, Lord, and I praise you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. Okay, we can pray in tongues. She's good. Okay, did you understand today's session? Any testimonies? No? No. No? Okay, sure. Okay, praise God. Okay, today we can end today's meeting. Uh, is there a session? Okay, uh, I'll just be back just a minute. Is there a session tomorrow? Praise God, sorry, but um, there's no session tomorrow. Uh, sorry for making you waiting, but there's no session today. Tomorrow, there's no more session. It will be on Monday. Praise God. Okay? Praise God. God. So, I will see you on Monday. Have a blessed two days. And we'll continue with our topic on Monday. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Was it Praise too God. much? Praise God. Okay? Bye. Have a blessed day. Yeah. Have a blessed tomorrow. Have a blessed day tomorrow, and we'll meet on Monday. And we'll study more about joy and happiness. Joy and happiness, and the Holy Spirit will lead us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Praise the Lord. Come on Monday. Bye. 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 Praise God. Bye. Praise God. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ashwin. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Bless him, Shaili. God bless you, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise Love you all. God loves you. God loves you.